finding ourselves alone with God. Because no one understands your problem better than God. I mean, you might look to me and think that I do, and God, bless you, you are an intelligent person. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and bust your bird bubble tonight. I don't. But I have a friend that I communicate with every day. And that friend knows your problem. And that friend tells me about your problem. And that is why it seems as though I have the words of wisdom and authority and dominion. But the truth of the matter, the secret behind your pastor is simple. It's prayer. Talking to God. And I said, God, we have lots of trouble. We are shaken on both ends, divided in the middle. Things are happening around us, and I cannot keep track of it all. And he said, pray. He said, pray. You don't know what you're capable of until you start praying. And I believe that we, as a church, haven't come close to realizing our potential. Not doing anything, just realizing our potential because we have suffered in the avenue of prayer. And I'm going to loose this place tonight in the Holy Ghost that we are going to become a prayerful people and that we are going to learn the ins and the outs of prayer. What it means, what it does, the unlimited powers that we possess as the house of prayer. If we would stand together tonight, we would bring music. Oh, there was a sound in this place tonight that I'm going to say, Brother Uhals could not emulate. I love his singing. But I'm going to tell you that sound that you heard just a moment ago does more for God. It makes heaven stand on him. The Bible says it as a free sweet fragrance being offered up before the Lord, stored up in the Bibles of heaven so one day be open and broken that it can be loosed. I don't know about you, but I would love to get into heaven and I mean, get some of my prayers and start breaking those Bibles and saying, loose it, Lord. Loose that prayer. Loose that prayer. Loose that prayer. Heal that person. Heal that person. And do this and do that. If you're with me, church, I want you to lift your hands one more time. And I want us to close this service through a dedication of prayer that we are going to become people of prayer. We are going to isolate time in our day and we are going to talk to God. And then we are going to come into this place on Tuesday nights and on Thursday nights and on Sunday mornings and we are going to pray. We are going to pray down the power of God's Spirit that everything and everyone that walks in these doors is going to be engulfed by the power of our prayers. If you are in agreement with me, why don't you lift your hands and why don't we close this out in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. I thank you for the unction that comes with the anointing that only comes through a channel of prayer. And God, I pray tonight that there would be an empowerment upon these people. And God, that they would begin to see the importance, the necessity, the invaluable presence of prayer in their lives. That they might press into that innermost chamber with you. Thereby with they too can have an experience like Paul being thrust into the innermost parts of the prison because it's there that he began to sing unto the Lord because he had a prayer life that knew that my God was the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if he can deliver three Hebrew boys out of a fiery furnace, then he can deliver me. He 
knew about the Daniels and the things of life. And he said that he can take care of Daniel in a lion's den. And David in front of Goliath, he can certainly take care of me. Why? Because I know how to pray. I know what it's like to be down on my luck. But I know what it's like to be lifted in the Holy Ghost because of a prayer. A prayer that says I can when the world says I can't. A prayer that says I will when everyone says you won't. That's the kind of prayer that we want to offer up in this place. Oh God, hear this people. Hear these prayers. Hear this preacher. And God led us to be loosed in prayer in 2009. Oh God, we love you. We honor you. And we clap our hands in agreement tonight. And we shout, Amen! The Lord bless you. You are dismissed.